Floods in the Loire and Rhone, the cities of Rive de Gier and Givers attacked by water. The municipalities of Rive de Gier on the Loire and Givers on the Rhone were hit by heavy flooding on Thursday, October 17. In particular, 36 hours of continuous rain in Rive de Gier caused the Gier River to flood. Sirens sounded for several minutes in Rive de Gier, Loire, Thursday, October 17. The city was on alert, completely devastated by the flood. On one street, dozens of damaged cars were carried away by the current. The rain had been falling for 36 hours continuously. As a result, the Gier River overflowed and swallowed the entire central artery of the city. Here we are already talking about a 100-year flood. In Givers Rhone, the situation also worsened on Thursday. Surrounded by water and trapped in their car, two elderly people were rescued by firefighters. The entire commercial area of Givers was paralyzed by the flood. Hour by hour, the level continued to rise. The high currents made rescue efforts difficult and the list of people in trouble grew. On Thursday evening, the water level dropped. Firefighters managed to evacuate all the victims by boat. In Haute Loire, the town of Brives Cherensac was flooded on Thursday, October 17, after the floods in the Loire. The city stadium was underwater. The football pitch was nothing more than a muddy lake. Helpless, residents watched the water rise. Several towns in the department were flooded. Lignin overflowed, carrying away vehicles. In the town of Chambin sur Lignin, Haute Loire, cows that had been swept away were caught in the current. Haute Loire was placed on red alert for flooding. The town's campsite was destroyed in minutes by the flood. We cry and then we will roll up our sleeves, go to the 2025 season, said Virginie Bortzmeier, owner of the Lalignan campsite. In tents, Haute Loire, the hastily built dams of the residents seemed insignificant compared to the river's current. In Pont Saint Esprit Guard, residents near the docks were evacuated on Thursday, 17 October. At midday, the water level of the Rhone River exceeded 7 meters, the threshold at which houses near the river must be evacuated. The neighboring town of St. Martin d'Ardèche Ardèche, was submerged underwater, its streets turned into torrents. The entire city center was flooded within minutes in the morning. Bakers tried to limit the impact of the flood, but their pink brick walls were not enough. They found themselves with 10 centimeters of water in their business. If the water had risen any further, all our equipment would have been damaged and the losses would have amounted to thousands of euros, explains Rachel Jowyer, one of the managers of the Sea Bakery. Schools in St. Martin d'Ardèche will be closed on Friday, 18 October, while the water is expected to continue rising on Thursday evening. State services and emergency services are fully mobilized to ensure the safety of the department's residents. 336 people were involved in rescue operations, and 150 firefighters were involved in carrying out 377 interventions, including five rescues and 51 rescue efforts. No injuries were reported. The Loire Department remains on orange flood alert and red flood alert. It is still recommended to avoid non-essential travel and to stay at home. A prefectural decree was issued requesting the closure of schools for tomorrow and prohibiting collective passenger transport, including school transport, in the 39 municipalities in the department affected by this episode.
the departmental operational committees have been activated in the prefectures. The emergency services are fully mobilized under the coordination of the prefect and have carried out almost 400 interventions. 150 firefighters were deployed. 336 people are involved in rescue operations. The prefectural decree ordered the closure of schools in the 39 municipalities in the department on Friday. Collective passenger transport is prohibited in the same municipalities. Elected officials in municipalities not affected by the decree can still order the closure of their educational institutions tomorrow. Residents of the Jir Valley who wish to leave their homes in search of shelter can be welcomed in the Roger Riviere space. The meeting point is located in the Rive de Gier Station Square. A bus will then take them to the reception center, 